What's up Dream Chasers? What's up Ranch Gang? Today's video, I am finally going to introduce you to my Dodge Demon 170. If you don't believe me, there's the key. So, obviously, I haven't been able to show you guys it. So, on today's video, right now, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in three, two. One. Supercharged, 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 supercharged. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. You know, we, we had to do the intro. Come on now. All right. Cold start on a 2023 Dodge Demon 170. Ready? And it does have E85 in it, so... Oh, there's just nothing better than that. There, there really is. All right, before I like take you around and show you all the cool stuff that I'm sure every YouTuber and people on Instagram have gone through and you guys already know everything about everything, I just wanna show you a couple things that make mine a little bit unique. I just wanna let you guys know, I don't deserve this car, okay? I know a lot of you guys have commented on my Instagram, oh man, you deserve, I don't deserve shit, okay? I don't deserve anything. This is literally just a sign for me of all my hard work and dedication over the years. Um, this, I don't deserve shit, okay? Just letting you guys, I don't deserve this Viper either. Like, I don't deserve any of these things. But to me, this is the sign of like hard work every fucking day at the gym, 5 a.m., busting my ass, and that's literally what it is. I literally don't deserve anything. Okay, and I'm not gonna be the type of person that like, oh man, no, fuck that. Like, if somebody has a nice car, 99% of the time, it's because they busted their ass, they work hard, they don't make excuses, and they get shit done. So, I don't want anybody to be like, oh, you deserve it. I don't deserve a fucking thing. But, this to me is just a sign of hard work. And to me, like, when I had my, when I got my 2018 Dodge Demon, that was such like a monumental moment for me, personally. Just because, like, I turned 30, I could afford a car that was like, you know, 90 some thousand dollars. It's crazy. So to me, if you want something, like not to get corny or anything like that, I don't care if you're 10, if you're 50, if you're 35, you can have the cool cars. You can have the shit that you've always wanted, but you have to bust your ass. Some people are in better positions than others, but I promise you, if you bust your ass, you can have anything you want. So I just want to let you know that. Why did I pick black? Well, they didn't have yellow. That wasn't an option. Um, and I wasn't selected for the jailbreak program because, but to be honest with you, even if I was, I don't know if spending 30 grand would have been worth it because like I plan on driving the absolute dog shit out of this car. Um, what's cool about my car compared to, well, the other 3,000 demons is I actually have the carbon fiber wheels. Now, these wheels were a $12,000 option, I believe. And if you try and buy these right now through Direct Connection or Dodge, they are $50,000, 50 grand. I mean, they're beautiful. Like, <laughs> I am nervous as hell to even mess with these at all. So these will be coming off immediately. Um, I'm one of the lucky ones that actually got to have, <laughs> have these because I think less than 400 people got carbon fiber wheels. What's crazy, what's a funny statistic is more people, which I didn't, got a sunroof than carbon fiber wheels, which is crazy to me. Um, so I got the red interior, obviously, like black and red is the only way to go. And uh, I haven't taken any of this stuff off. I did do the back seat delete, so there's nothing back there. 
Um, it's literally the exact same as the 2018 Dodge Demon. Um, there's that. Let me zoom in. Zoom! Zoom! <laughs> so there it is, number 1506. Um, we're gonna get that customized with my name on it. And I got the carbon fiber, obviously. I think everybody does. I got the red seats. Awesome steering wheel. What's cool about these, which I didn't know, this is suede or Alcantara on the on the top, which none of my other Hellcats or any of that had that. The only cars that I've had is the TRX that had this, and my Trackhawk has this, and I think it's just so nice. So, red door panels, all the good stuff. It's not tinted yet. Uh, Misa is out of town, so we're gonna tint it. We're gonna do all the side marker stuff. And we're actually gonna be taking this to Dave's shop in, in another video. If you guys don't know, my brother has a shop here. If you guys need to go fast, you need parts, you can hit him up on Instagram at David Van Vorst or Coyote Direct. Either way, he'll get you taken care of. But I, <coughs> a lot of people like weren't big fans of the wide fenders in the back and the small in the front. I think it looks cool. Um, depending on the color of the car, I don't know if like, the bright colors are gonna look good in person, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. So, um, otherwise, it's pretty much just your normal Challenger. Um, you guys have seen the engine, but I'll pop it just because, because I'm sure some of you guys don't wanna see it, to make sure you know, it's a Demon 170, right? It is, it is a Demon 170, don't, don't worry. So, where is the, there you go. Looks brand new. So, if you guys don't know, a couple little tidbits. I have some people that I know who work on the inside. Um, anyways, the first 220 that got built actually had bad superchargers. So, those people didn't even get to receive theirs till like just now, which kind of sucks. Um, so, luckily, mine doesn't have that issue. Last call badge, which is pretty cool. Otherwise, it's your, just your standard Challenger. Um, I believe the inside of this hood is higher because of how giant this supercharger is. I mean, this thing is ginormous. So um, it's on E85, I already dumped it out. I think it's got like 50 miles on it. So we will not be keeping this car stock. That's just a quick video for you guys. I just wanted to kind of introduce you to the new car to the channel. I know I haven't been able to. A lot of people who bought this car, who were able to buy this car, did not, or will not, excuse me, will not be racing it. I, however, I have $12,000 in parts ready to go, and this is gonna be going to David's shop and getting a whole bunch of stuff done to it. I am not keeping this thing stock at all. Now, I'm gonna keep the engine and transmission stock, everything else, you guys just have to wait to see on the next video. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think of Dodge Demon 170. I'm super blessed to be able to be in the position that I am to be able to afford something like this. I am one of the lucky ones who actually paid MSRP for mine. Um, so I think out the door, or sticker was like 119 something. Um, if you guys don't know, Dodge up the price 12,000. So like my sticker shows like 131 or 132,000. I paid 119. Tax title out the door is 127. So. Um, Right now, it's living next to the Dodge Viper, and then eventually, we have another spot right there for the OG. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Make sure you guys are following me at CaliBoyKev on Instagram and on Snapchat. We've got a lot of videos coming. Thank you guys for supporting, as always. Have an awesome day. I'm out this bitch.